If you have watched my YouTube videos in the past or followed my posts inside of the POD Ninjas Facebook group, you've likely seen me talk about results from print on demand stores that I'm currently working on. And you've also likely seen me talk about strategies in order to achieve those results. What I want to talk about in this video is actually the first $5,000 that I made with print on demand. And this video is honestly going to be really helpful for those that are just getting started with print on demand, or even those that are getting started but don't have a large budget to actually invest in their print on demand business, or even those that think that print on demand might be too saturated to actually uh, be profitable right now. Also to address that last point, print on demand is still a very profitable business model. You just have to do some different things than what worked years ago. What I'm going to talk about today in terms of how I made my first 5,000 is still a strategy that works today. You just have to do some key things very differently, which I will talk about at the end of today's video. So first, how did I actually make my first 5,000 with print on demand? Before I tell you the whole story, do me a favor. There is likely someone out there that is struggling to get started with print on demand. They are going through countless YouTube videos trying to find information to help them to get started. And you guys are in a very important spot where you can help them out. What I mean is if you guys click the like button on this video, YouTube is going to be more likely to actually show this video to them and you're going to help them out. And selfishly, it helps my small channel to grow. So go ahead and click the like button and you can help them out. So I discovered print on demand after losing an eBay business. Years ago, one of the first things I ever tried online was selling electronic cigarettes on eBay. This was a business that I quickly scaled to about $50,000 a month in sales. I was ordering all of the electronic cigarettes in bulk and then shipping them myself and bringing everything to the post office and literally handling all of the orders on a daily basis. It was honestly one of the coolest times in my life because it was one of the first times I was able to actually make real money online. And if you have been around my channel for a while, you've likely seen me talk about this because I actually lost that business. I woke up one morning and grabbed grabbed my phone and expected to see a whole bunch of new orders. And instead I saw a whole bunch of notices from eBay saying that they had essentially shut my store down. Basically what happened is they changed their policies and stopped allowing electronic cigarettes to be sold on their platform. So my business literally went from uh, being awesome to overnight uh, not really existing at all. And that's when I began to see tons of videos on YouTube from people talking about making money online with Shopify. After doing some research, research, I discovered print on demand. And if you guys are here, you likely already think the same thing that I was thinking is that print on demand sounds like a really cool business. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world that I could put whatever design I wanted to on a product. And then I didn't have to actually ship it myself because like I said, I was doing eBay and I was mailing all of the products myself, which is a lot of work. So the idea that I didn't have to do that anymore was super attractive. And this was years ago. So really the only products that were available were things things like t-shirts or mugs or other really low margin things that really you shouldn't sell nowadays, which is sort of what I was talking about earlier, which I'll give some tips on it at the end of this video to help you actually succeed with what it is I'm talking about in terms of strategy today. So my first store completely failed. My second store also failed. My third store, you guessed it, failed. Eventually though, I had a store uh, that started to make some sales for me. Uh, it was the store that I made my first $5,000 on in profit and that's what we're gonna be talking about. So basically I made those sales by utilizing Instagram. At this point in my print on demand journey I really had no experience or even any success with Facebook ads so I was kind of on the fence of going all in on them and if you're in that spot where you're not really sure about marketing and paid traffic and things like that just know I like nowadays that is the number one way that I drive traffic to print on demand stores and it is one that I think you should learn about but everything I talk in this video about in terms of free traffic from Instagram can still be done today. What I did was create an Instagram page for my store. Actually, it was a page for my niche where I just posted content that people in my niche would like. Funny videos, pictures, even memes were all things that I posted on my Instagram account. I added the link uh, to my store in the bio of the Instagram account and over time I began to grow that account to 
to thousands of followers. One of the key things I began to do was running weekend promotions. For example, on a Friday, I would make a post with a picture of a product that I was selling and I would offer a 25% discount or something and tell everybody that it was expiring on Sunday. I would then go and set it up on Shopify so that the discount code would be valid through Sunday. And then I would continue to post about the promotion all weekend. And because I had grown that account to thousands of followers, I was able to generate a whole bunch of sales. I would do this every single weekend. And even sometimes during the week, I would run smaller promotions on the Instagram account. And over time, I began to just make a ton of sales. Over time as well, I began to have people that started to engage with nearly all of my posts. I began to actually reach out to them with a direct message and say, hey, thanks for supporting my Instagram page. Did you know we also have merchandise? And essentially just start a conversation with them. I would even send them discount codes if they ever wanted to buy something on the store. Essentially what I was doing was building a community around my store for my niche, which ended up translating into a lot of sales for me. Now, of course, in order to be successful with this, you have to make sure that not only are you posting good content that is going to make people engage with it, because if you don't have engagement, your posts are not going to go viral and your account is not going to grow. The second part of this is sort of what I was talking about earlier, where all of these strategies still work today. You just need to make sure that you are choosing better products. What I mean by that is we now live in a world where print on demand is super popular. There are hundreds of thousands of sellers out there all pretty much selling the same thing. What I mean by that is no matter what your niche is, there is likely going to be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of t-shirts and mugs that already exist within your niche. A much better thing to do nowadays, which is something that I am all in on, is choosing more unique products that make you a lot more profit margin as well. T-shirts are going to make you on average without ads about $5 per sale. There are products that I talk about in this video here on my YouTube channel that can make you 10 times that amount. And those would be a much better option nowadays, especially if you're going to also be using paid traffic such as Facebook and Instagram ads. The point of doing that would be to make sure that you can still be profitable after spending on an ad. If you're just getting started and you don't really know what you want to sell, there's really three things that you need to consider. This is what I was talking about earlier in terms of waiting until the end of the video to give you some good tips. The first part of having a winning product is making sure that you choose a great niche. When it comes to selling print on demand products, especially on social media, the only thing that is actually going to get people interested in what you are selling is your niche. If you are creating products that don't really belong to a specific niche, people are just going to scroll right by it and really never check it out. You need to make sure that your niche is something they relate to so that way they actually stop and check it out. The second part of this is your product choice. Like I said before, it really comes down to two different things. The first being profit margins. If you're choosing something like a t-shirt or a mug, those are going to be relatively low in terms of how much profit you can make. The second part of that is cutting through saturation. If people are scrolling on social media and they see your t-shirt or your mug, for example, they've likely already seen something like that before. Now I'm not saying you might not make a few sales, but to truly scale products, you need to make sure that you're choosing something a little bit more unique. Here's an example of that. Let's say that you're going to build a store with a whole bunch of mugs for teachers like this. Odds are teachers scrolling by these, maybe they'll click the like button, maybe they'll tag their friend because it's a funny quote that you have on the mug, but at the end of the day, when it comes to them actually giving you money, they might not do it. And like I said before, I have been doing this for a while now. I've also interacted with hundreds of other people. I run the POD Ninjas Facebook group. It has about 45,000 members at this point. So I have a pretty good understanding about what sells and what doesn't. And nowadays, mugs and t-shirts and some of those more saturated products are not a great option. What you would be much better off doing is taking your design concepts or even just your niches from mugs like this and putting them on products like this. You can see that something like this has a much more uh, potential to actually go viral. Picture a teacher scrolling through their newsfeed when they're presented with each of these products which one do you think they will get more excited about? The same is true for someone who likes camping. Let's say that you were just going to do silly t-shirts like this uh, about camping compared to a product like this. This one is likely going to generate much more of a response from them because it's unique. It's something that they don't see every day. When it comes to print on demand, this is the biggest thing that people struggle with. I see so many people that learn about a marketing strategy such as the one I talked about today, but they don't actually create new things. They 
they still sell the same types of products that worked a couple years ago that don't really sell that well today. If you guys want even more information about this, make sure to check out the POD Ninjas Facebook group. I have a free mini course there where I go through the entire process of choosing good niches, choosing good products, and more importantly, making a great design. The link to join the POD Ninjas group is down in the description below. So hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, if you're someone that is getting started with print on demand, you don't have a big budget, you're not sure uh, how to actually go about promoting your products, just start an Instagram account. Begin posting content that your niche will like and sprinkle in photos of your products and just do that to make your first few sales to give you the confidence to actually continue putting time into this business. This is something that still works today. People are still on Instagram. People are still buying print on demand products. So like I said, if you're new, you don't have a big budget, you're not really sure what to do, start that Instagram account and begin posting content that your niche will like. And like I said earlier, if you guys want more information about all of the stuff that we talked about today, make sure to check out the POD Ninjas Facebook group. I have a whole bunch more content there. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Joe Robert and I will see you guys in the next video.